Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Um, yeah. So, last time we left off right here, because we were about to go to here, Mystia Tower. And suddenly, we're inside. Okay, there's two things to keep in mind about this dungeon right away. Tower, whatever you want to call it. The first one is... Um... Werewolves? No, one of the things was not werewolves. Um... Give me a sec, I want to see if I can find an example first before I talk about that one. Hmm, maybe I should talk about the other one then. Okay, the other one is, after you finish Mystia Tower, that is the cue for the game to just sort of <coughs> upgrade all the monsters on the world map. Which means all the, which means if you care about your beast area, you'll you can miss out on monsters that way. But it also means that if you are behind, the monsters are all uh, gonna get a lot harder after this tower. Let's see. There's a... As... Well, as I couldn't really show up with a Leviathan, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna track down the good items on each floor, so consumables, I, for the most part, I don't really care about. Nor do I care about a staff, for that matter. Wait a second. Back up a second. Go back out of this battle. Damn it. Okay, no, it's different. I thought I recognized this music for a second. Okay, this, I think, is probably a good example of what I mean. Maybe. Maybe not. Give me a minute. Bighorn, did, weren't you, like, just a boss? <laughs> well, I guess that was two dungeons ago. Technically. Or three. Wait, no. Where did I see the bighorns? It was in the... The, uh... Where was it? I don't remember. Okay, here's where I was talking about. This sort of thing isn't really new, but there's a lot more of it. Or maybe there's not a lot more of it. Well, there, in any case, there's a lot of it in Mystia Tower. A lot of secret passageways. Most of them are pretty obvious, I think, probably. I mean, that's just the sort of game this is. They don't really... They are pretty overt with their secret passages, which is actually a good thing because it means it's, you know, easier to find them. I like Final Fantasy IV where, the, where they will put them bloody everywhere. White Robe, that's the one I was after. This is the only item worth getting on this floor, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Look at that defense. And, contrary to what I said before, I'm going to throw the Power Vest on Furion. Because more power on him is good, and because 99 evasion is good. It also frees... Okay, no, no, I cannot give him the flame armor. He... his evasion is too crappy. <laughs> uh... Ogre Killer. Okay. I saw that when I was editing, and I was wondering what it was. Oops. No. Have a weapon. Uh, since we're right here, I'm gonna grab this box. It's another staff. Of course. And onward to the next floor. Vamp- Vampire- Really? Hmm. That does remind me, though, something I should probably mention. 
Do not use Osmos on zombies, or anything that's undead for that matter. Fire floor, I'm thinking. Because... Yeah, this is totally a fire floor. Well, that would make sense. You'll see why later on. Hilgeus? Again, that sort of makes sense. And again, you'll see why later on. <clears throat> Let's see. Bombs are weak against fire, aren't they? I'm pretty sure they are. Because this game is weird that way. Uh, what was I saying now? I sort of lost my trail of thought. Um... Fire makes sense, Hilgeus makes sense... Something else... Um... Yeah, I don't remember. Oh well. So, this is a fire floor. There is a lot of that in this tower. There are three, I think three, main sections of the tower. Of this tower, sorry. Still need to remember to work on my, my enunciation. <clears throat> but yes, there are three main sec sections of this tower spread over, well, a lot of floors. And there are, each section ha is elemental themed. With a boss at the top of each section. Flame Lance! Flame Bow! Those are the only things I care about on this floor. Uh, you know what I didn't bother doing? I didn't write down where the floor. the doors are. So, hey! Actually, that's a good thing. Maybe. Depending on your perspective. I mean, I sincerely hope at this point no one is watching this as a as a hard guide. But more floundering around for finding the way out. Spoiler alert, this wasn't it. Right, so as I was saying, wait, no, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Hey, it's a killer mantis! Yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. Probably something, though. Probably. Hmm, what do you want to bet that the vampire girls, and vampires in general, really, but vampire girls, as rel as per pertinent to this discussion, have some sort of, you know, vampire attack? It seems likely. It seems pretty likely. Killer Mantis is probably a bigger threat though. Well, maybe not. I mean, I haven't actually seen the vampire girl hit me. Killer Mantis just can tank though. Freaking werewolves. Just freaking werewolves. I really wish this game had like a what what you call it um an evade ability that would make this so much more happy time and that sounds kind of sexual so I'd rather you didn't take it that way but I just pointed it out so you probably will oh well oh hey the stairs hmm I is that lava? So, a thought just occurred to me. Yep, he's using the flame lance. Uh, by the way, the boss of the fire area, I'm pr pretty sure, absorbs fire. So, he's also the boss of the fire area. Like, go figure, right? Like, I don't think I really need to say any more, anything else. Just keep in mind, he's the boss of a fire area. Why did I walk in here? Seriously, why did I walk in there? Uh, I wonder how much damage this does. One. Okay, that's no big deal. Except possibly for Richard. But who cares about him? Why did I go in here? <laughs> ah. 
Oh, hey, wait, these are new. Also, thank God for high-level magic, because... <clears throat> it makes getting through a lot of these so much easier. Although those imps were just kind of pushovers. Or I say easier, what I mean to say is faster. Yeah, that figures. That fi wait. Nope. <sighs> hey, these are new! Sort of. Um, let's try this. I'm kind of still suspicious, I guess you could say, of the Malibru. Like, they're, it's just way too easy for them to suddenly get a bad breath attack. Honestly. Hey, they hit Richard twice. Good for them. That's 50% more than they would have been able to hit anyone else. As demonstrated by Mario. Ha ha ha! Okay, uh, Ice does not do it. How about Thunder? Probably not. Yeah, actually I think this is just really resistant to magic in general. Oh. Wait. I swear, this castle... I know I've heard this song before! Like... Is it like a remix or something? What? Well, that's kind of disconcerting. Wait, I swear, this song is like a remix or something. Anything over here? There is! The Flame Sword! Which. Is this an upgrade? I'm actually not sure. It is, but we're gonna wait until after we fight the boss. Oops. We're gonna wait until after we fight the boss to equip this because it's a it's the boss of a fire area. Again, do the math. Okay, so over here, fight the basilisk. And up we go. Good news, everybody! My Asuna level is not high enough to cure... Petrification. Good thing I bought all those gold needles. Otherwise, I could be in trouble. Oh. Nope. Flame armor! Oh, hey. No, no, floor three sounds right. And over there is the other piece of uh, fire-based equipment that I want. After we kill a bunch of basilisks. Because... Because they looked at me, but, well... If a basilisk looked at you funny, you're probably a, a lawn ornament. Hmm... Because... Why am I killing the Basilisks? Well, because they're gonna turn me into Lawn Ornaments, actually. I don't know why I'm looking for anything beyond that. Like, it's really unnecessary. And I'm fine as long as they don't target Ricard. I'm... fairly confident in my ability to... you know, just dodge everything. Well, actually, to be fair, my Magic Dodge ha... While I have more of them, I have a lower percent chance. I don't have a 100% chance so, to dodge it, so it is at least possible for it to petrify someone, I think. You know, let's just check. Uh, 50, 68, wow! I guess that's what the high spirit does for you. Yeah, she just has a high magic dodge because she is, like, broken. 
No, I'm pretty sure it's because of her intelligence, actually. A combination of that and her crazy agility. Yeah, hit- because, um, Spirit is your main, um, magic dodge stat. Which in this case is actually good because it means your white mage is basically immune to magic. Wow, he has a surprising high. Well, I guess not really. He has way fewer magic dodges though. Yeah, I don't know what determines that, that number, to be honest. I just don't. And... Uh, flame Helmet. Hmm... It... Ah! Resistant to ice? Well, no, no, that seems about right. Now, what I am gonna do right now is... I only have one, one spare ice shield? Eh, I guess that'll work. That's three ice shields. Because, as bears repeating, boss of fire area. Let's do it! You make good progress, but if you... Excuse me. But you must defeat me if you wish to continue your ascent! Oh, custom boss music! Also, yep, it's a fire gigas. I'm pretty sure it's weak against ice. I know, but I know it's weak against massive berserk power. I actually don't know whether it uses magic or not either, so that'll be interesting for the both of us. Uh, but. Hmm, maybe I should kill it with Bazir- well, no. I would kill it using actual magic instead of just Berserking. Except that all the bosses in here have stupid amounts of HP, which really encourages me to do this the quick way. Um, this will probably heal him. Oh, no, it dealt a little bit of damage. But yeah, that's because it's a Fire Lance and Fire Boss. I've said this so many times already. It's not effective against him. If I were to cast a fire spell on him, I'm pretty sure he would absorb it. Uh, sure, let's use Blizzard. <coughs> and you can't exactly do anything else. Uh, oh wow, that was actually just as effective as Berserk. I should've just spammed ice on him, that would've actually saved me time. Go figure. That, that is actually a legitimate surprise to me. Oh well. That is one of three, so how's my magic looking? Ah, uh, pretty good, actually. But... I'm gonna cut off here, I think. Makes sense. Oh wait, but first... Okay, now I'm gonna cut off here. So... Ahem... <clears throat> Will our hero, Furion, continue his, uh, his ascent of Mystia Tower? and claim the ultimate home or will he meet a cold welcome tune in next time to find out <laughs> that pause was just awful <coughs> so until then this has been let's play final fantasy 2 with chaos blue and have a nice day